Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Woo-woo! Hey, we're here with Not So Big George. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's our weekly waistline check-in video. Yes. And what happened this week uh, with George is we were trying to figure out what happened, actually. The scale weight went up three or four pounds. Yeah. We're like, is the scale a little off? Because his waistline did go down three quarters of an inch. Yeah. So how did you feel about that? And what do you think happened? What's going on? If you had well, guess. I mean, first I was discouraged to go down, to go up in weight at all. Even though my waistline went down, that suggests, well, okay, I put on muscle and that's great. But I've got so much weight to lose, it was discouraging. But... I tried to stay positive and hold on to the fact that, you know, the waistline is going down and that I'm doing a lot more weights um, and that my joints hurt a lot less. So overall, I feel so much better. And uh, I think it's more than just the exercise. And, and believe me, I'm not, I'm eating in a small window. I'm eating in that four hour window. That's what's helped me the last month, but I'm not drinking water. And so I did notice like on Tuesday, I got up from the desk and I just, my feet felt kind of puffy and I looked down, my ankles were pretty swollen. So I think cause I'm not drinking enough water, I'm holding a lot of water. So I think that's one of the things going on. And then I think just stress. I know I've read a lot that when you have stress, um, it's, it's the body holds on to weight. So I've been trying to do stuff like get in the sauna that reduces stress and exercise reduces stress. And of course I've been doing that. Um, so, I, you know, just trying to stay positive and uh, hope that, you know, I get some resolution in the business stuff so that'll relieve the stress. So a couple of takeaways I have, you said you're doing more weight. I think what you meant to say is not, not necessarily heavier weight, but you're accomplishing more like sets of body weight squats and you're able to accomplish more. You're right. finding than like a month or two ago. Yeah, so a month or two ago, I was doing like maybe three sets of 15 reps of body weight squats. Now I'm doing four sets of 25 and then maybe a couple sets of leg press, but now I'm doing four sets of 25 to 30 on the leg press of 30 reps. So I'm doing a lot more volume of weights, and I think that may have just tightened up, you know, my muscles a little bit, toned them up, and, and maybe I got a little bit of weight gain there too. And I'm, I'm assuming that a guy of your size, over 400 pounds, when he holds on to water, she holds on to water, you can gain five, six, eight pounds of water in a week or so. Yeah. Depending on, we don't know why you're holding the water, but maybe one takeaway, at least for me, is that I do this with myself and my clients religiously. Once a week, we get on the scale, check the waistline, tape measure exact the same way to see how the body changed that week and try to see if we need to change food or exercise yeah. and see. And so, but all, sometimes you can't figure it out. Right. You know, why would we gain weight uh, and lose inches off the waistline? But so I think what we're, you're trying to say is even though you weren't happy with the gain of the weight, positives out of what you're doing are still showing up with being yeah. able to accomplish more on, on the exercise and then maybe outside the gym are you seeing stuff are you feel like you're performing pretty good outside the gym and your personal life for your work and your family with all the things considered well yeah normally like something like this have difficulty in in my professional life i would shut down and i haven't done that this time i mean i'm doing this program which i've never i haven't been this consistent with a weight loss program in 20 years. And in addition to that, I'm working on several different things to get some income going again and mm -hmm. to get, you know, not necessarily a job, but working on things that bring in income on different businesses of my own, including the gel business, mm -hmm. which Darren and I work on. And, and I think one of the reasons I'm working on the gel business is because it's, I've got the proper frame of mind to actually do some exercise to work on some things that are productive. Through a very stressful time. Yeah. And when you said in the past, you've shut down. I know for me, I had a nervous breakdown and I couldn't function very well for myself or my family or my kids or anybody for six months to a year. I couldn't get out of bed full of anxiety. Yeah. And I even tried meds and even maybe went, not maybe, but I went towards bipolar meds because supposedly that runs in the family. And I threw them in the garbage after a couple months. So when Guys shut down some, like, it's a big problem. For me it was, and for you, you've shut down in the past, and would you, what would that look like in the That's past? That's how I got to 450 pounds. I either turned to alcohol, self-medicating, um, or, and, and then, you know, when I realized that alcohol wasn't the answer, then I put on 100 pounds eating. And so it's time to stop that cycle. And uh, I really think one of the reasons I'm so passionate about the gel is I think it enhances my mood enough 
to where I can use exercise to help me get out of this mood or to change my state so I feel better. Great, so it sounds like we got some really nice pauses, even though a little bit of a setback because the scale weight didn't go down. Yeah, right. so I gotta drink more water, gotta stay on the exercise to relieve the stress, continue being productive to relieve the stress. And uh, I think one thing we didn't really touch on, but I'm gonna write down what I'm eating. I think that's a major step that I try to avoid, so I think I need to do it. Absolutely, and that's my job to hold you kind of I fell yeah. away from it. So let's do it this week. Yeah. Let's write it down, very simple, and then, uh, We'll see if it, what it goes like this week. I think that's a tool that brings awareness about for sure. Yeah. You know, and uh, you still feel like you want to do the intermittent fasting where you're eating all your meals in only a, a smaller window. You want to try that again this week? I'm going to try that again, but I will say within about an hour and a half after drinking my Bulletproof coffee, I'm starving. Mm -hmm. And so I, that could become an issue. So we'll have to maybe go day by day on it and, uh, you know, maybe switch some things up. It, it could just be that's the way it's going to be. It, I'm starving, but it's not a normal starving where I have to eat. Um, when I don't have the Bulletproof coffee and I get starving, I have to eat. If I drink a Bulletproof coffee, yes, I'll get hungry, but I don't have to eat. How about we do this? This is, this is how sort of my thought on any of the video is. I would like to do intermittent fasting one more week. If the weight loss is stagnant, then let's try a different eating pattern of... Uh, traditional carb cycling like a bodybuilder, not using an intermittent fasting time window, and then maybe we could try to learn something if we give this one more week and it doesn't kick in the, on the weight loss. How do you feel about that? Great idea, agreed. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Any words of wisdom for uh, people that are supporting this? I know I have quite a few people around the area saying, hey, where's George's video? Because we're a couple yeah. of days late on this. Yeah. And the support really does help George uh, so we appreciate that. Any parting words of wisdom? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, just even words of, hey, continue to, to support and share and comment. That all keeps me going. When, when I don't feel like working out, I feel too tired and I start making excuses and lying to myself. Uh, don't lie to myself. Don't lie to yourself. We can do this. We can all do this. I, whether, no matter if you got to quit drinking, got to diet, got to exercise, whatever the problem is, get productive. Don't listen to yourself. We can all do it. And we just got to take the first step and get in there and do it. Let's do it together. Awesome. It always helps. Yeah. If you're a local, if you're in the local area, George is going to come with me and support me. I got a local talk at Health Nuts Tuesday, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the evening yeah. to 7 p.m. I got a, a couple friends there that are helping people in the chiropractic field uh, with a, a holistic approach that I really like. That's why I invite them. I'm learning quite a bit from them. And the other guy is a Tai Chi guy helping me sort of fix my broken body with recovery techniques like Tai Chi movements and flossing nerves and backing down the intensity and focusing on breathing. And I really like him. He's going to talk for 15 minutes and tell us about a couple of tools for recovery that's working for him that I really like. So yeah. I set Health Nuts on the corner of LaGrange and LaPorte. If you're around, just hit us up below. We'd love to see a couple of you there if it, if, you, if it fits in your schedule. That'd be phenomenal. I'd love to see anybody that could come out. And, and I just, you know, in, in parting, the last thing that's on my mind, do you need a little bit of help? Like, I couldn't really get these programs going. I couldn't really take that next step. And with the Somaderm HGH gel, I got in a positive frame of mind where I could be productive, where I could get in the gym and I could exercise instead of drinking, instead of eating. So even if you know, you're just a little bit away, give us a ring, drop a comment, and, and we'll tell you some more about this product and to see maybe if it can help you just that little bit. Awesome. And as always, you do have the power of change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Thank you. Love you guys. And what's today? Thursday? Thursday the 21st. All right. So we'll do a weekly check-in in in a week. Yeah. And if you're in the local area and you want to know about our local event at Health Nuts on the corner of the Portland Grange, just uh, comment below and we'll, we'll steer in. Adios. Adios.